Hello everybody, thank you for joining my live stream today. We are uh, on the second episode of Atlas Hopping in Linden Lab Sansar with Barry and Drax. And I'm just heading over to 114 Harvest right now. And uh, this is me, I kind of changed up my avatar a little bit. And if you are in the live stream right now, please do let me know if you can hear me. Um, hopefully you can. Sounds like Drax and Ryan are already there. Maybe I walked away. Oh, there they are. Great, thank you. Glad you guys can hear me. And if you guys want to join us in Sansar right now, I have a link to my blog post in the description. We're at 114 Harvest. And your picture is Atlas hopping with Drax and Barry. Which I thought was hysterical. The designer, a friend of mine uh, who designed this uh, branding, uh, that's that's uh, was very intentional actually. And I I'm more in the background on on hers and I in mine I'm in the foreground. Well, I obviously mine is the correct one. Oh, what? hi, what? Strawberry. Hello. You got both earrings in today. I know. I finally oh got God. both earrings. Drax finally Thank paid up. <laughs> Thank you what? so much for the there kind mention is. of my blog in your blog. Of course. I really appreciate that. Of course. Your blog is fantastic. I'm learning so many things. I want to ask you so many questions about all the updates in Sansar this week. Oh, sure. Oh, strawberry had If a I can answer them, I will. If not, I can probably refer you to somebody else who can answer them. Yeah, okay, folks, great. we're going to go on air in nine seconds. Let me please do a quick um, introduction and a welcome to the viewers. And then we'll play it by ear and we improvise as we always do. Um, wow, Strawberry, this haircut, I really like it. Okay, here we yeah, go. I like it. Uh, hello there and welcome to Atlas Shrugged Hopping. <laughs> no, that was a little shout out to my libertarian friends. This is Draxter from uh, from uh, from Sansar at 114 Harvest, and if you're watching this, and if you have Sansar, you can come in. Now, I'm standing here next to uh, a car with the license, Florida license plate, Berrylicious. Wonder who it belongs to. Does it belong to <laughs> you, Strawberry? Well, I mean, it is a Florida license plate, so. Yeah. Oh, now, I, I, I need to get a, I need to get a picture. Cool. What? Oh, what? You have a postcard there, Ryan? I have a postcard yeah. in my hand that yeah. says... Yeah, they're scattered around. You can find some laying in the ground Eleven, because there was a wind harvest. yesterday. Yeah. Oh, here, that's you can exciting. Take it from me. Go ahead, take it from me. Okay, let me see. So here, I want to tell folks that oh, I am... It. Oh, oh, there it goes. A uh, couple, of, couple of technical things real quick. So thank you, Ryan Schultz, for coming. We have Rhea, we my have pleasure. Anto Distro. And I'm going to check on, um, I have to check on names. Oops, I don't want to teleport here. Uh, we have, we have Worfi, uh, we have uh, I, Austin, we have Darling, of course. Darling has a big sign over her head. And uh, so gather around, folks, because I want to just do a very quick um, intro here. Um, so Sansa has been live for about a week. We're here at 114 Harvest. And um, a lot of people who have commented on various streams have pointed out that the VR stuff is ridiculous. Like the arms are weird. And look, Dragster's arms are weird. So. Just so you know, I'm wearing an Oculus headset on my head now. It's I, it's not covering my eyes because I realized I need to look at the uh, YouTube stream and I need to make sure that everything is streaming correctly. And so last week what happened when I put my controllers down, okay? Then the controllers don't know where my arms are. And then the arms may look really weird and twisted and, and so on and so forth. So this is something where the system is calculating, constantly trying to calculate, where are my hands? And, and judging from where my hands are, the system then defers um, 
to where my arms would be. So this is just maybe a little technical primer. Now, Ryan, we talked earlier off the air about something that I want to address, and then we're going to go right into into the hopping part. And I'm also going to look at the YouTube comments, and I'm going to uh, sort of incorporate that a little bit into the discussion. Lastly, Ryan, before I ask you that question that I asked you uh, prior, if my frame rates are down a little bit, that's not due to Sansar. That's due to the fact that I am also streaming this out and receiving the stream. So my network is constantly streaming a whole bunch of things. I don't know about you guys. Uh, if that is not the case, Sansar is actually performing at a very, very high frame rate. Now, Ryan, earlier we talked about some of the discussion that is surrounding uh, or criticism uh, of Sansar that, that there is no prim building or what, what, what is up with the prim building the prim building was something that enabled people to be at the table right away and now all this is gone and it's not coming back and that's why Sansar is just for an elitist um, developer type and you need to blow your nose Ryan oh I'm sorry oh, no. do you hear me sniffling away here I have a bit of a cold <laughs> We need. We definitely need to. The microphone is a little cleaning. too sensitive on this Oculus Rift headset that I am wearing. No, I think Ria needs to make Ria. Can you make some uh, Kleenex, please? Where is Ria? <laughs> yeah, I need some virtual there is some Kleenex. Downstairs in the basement. Thank we'll you, Ria. For you. I will try not to breathe quite so loudly. So we'll have Ryan because he said something uh, important earlier, and then Strawberry. We're gonna we're gonna get going. Um, I have I have two things that I like to see and then and then we can play it by ear and then strawberry maybe you have something that you want to see but Ryan what is your take on what would you say to Okay well to answer your question yes to answer your question um there are already user creation tools that are available three of them I can name off the top of my head there is Oculus Medium Yesterday at the in-world meeting that Jen, the lead community manager for Sansar, is hosting every day in, in Kyle, Kyle Matsura's Garden of Dreams, Ooh. Uh, there were a whole bunch of avatars there, and there was one there named Tina Fayette, and she had a pair of steampunk angel wings that she had created in Oculus Medium that were fantastic. And Oculus Medium is a really easy to use VR-based sculpting tool that you can use to create objects, export them, and then import them into Sansar. And Tina told me that she created her ring her wings, sorry, I meant to say wings. She created her wings in Oculus Medium and then was able to import them successfully into Sansar and they looked fabulous. Also, there is another tool called Google Blocks, where you can... Ba Google Blocks is basically prim building, mm -hmm. a prim building tool. You basically start off with simple shapes and create and combine them, and then you create more complex things by using these simple shapes and modifying them. You mm -hmm. can also successfully import objects that you create in Google Blocks into Sansar. And finally, Microsoft Windows 10 has Paint 3D. It is so simple, a child could use it. And you mm -hmm. can export directly in FBX format, and I've heard that you can actually successfully import those FBX models that you create in Paint 3D into Sansar. So the mm -hmm. whole argument about this elitist thing where it's undemocratic and, and, and there's no room for amateur builders, I'm sorry, that's bullshit. Mm -hmm. Frankly, there are already tools available that you can use to easily create objects to import into Sansar. And that's the message I want to get out there. That's really well said. And, and, and thank you, Ryan, because I think it's really important to... Uh, we're, we're moving into an era where, like you said, the, the prim building of today is the live sculpting in 3D in the world. And that can be done right now. It can't be done in Sansar. But I'm absolutely sure that collaborative building like that is, is on the roadmap. Um, Strawberry, do you hear stuff like that from your audience when people ask you like you know what's happening like with prims are it prims dead can i do stuff 
No, I don't have. I don't really talk to a lot of builders and so forth. Most of the people that uh, people aren't coming to me directly because I mean I kind of agree with the people that are reading my blog and such that there isn't a lot for somebody like me and you know a second life resident that doesn't really create. There's a lot to, for me to do here except explore the experiences and. Uh, a lot of the Second Life residents aren't really that interested in that yet, and a lot of them are having difficulty with the, you know, move, move controls, especially because we don't have VR. Um, it's hard, It's a little bit harder to move around when you're on desktop. So, uh, in in a sense, I do agree with them that there is not a lot to do here. But I'm optimistic. I'm I'm logging in. I, I'm ready for the updates. I'm I'm watching. I'm waiting. I'm gonna you know join you guys every week and and see and you know i want to talk to ryan because since he's in the know about all the new updates every week so i'm looking forward to all the changes and, and stuff that they add uh for now since i'm not a builder or creator and i don't really you know haven't spoken to builders and creators that are in sansar i don't really know um you know i haven't really heard what yeah. they're saying i just i've just heard people complaining that it's boring there's nothing to do in, and that's fine i yeah. mean it's not it's not really ready it's in beta it's not ready for people to come and just hang out like sl is right and that's well fine. i would say well well i would say this absolutely ready to do stuff and to hang out i mean we're hanging out yeah. right now and and we're gonna go actually to somebody something that lenny foxtrot built and lenny foxtrot i don't know how she would characterize herself but she would I think definitely say that she's not a builder, but she put something together that she took from the marketplace and then made some items herself. And I think that's exactly the same spirit that is that uh, how Second Life started. Uh, that's that's where I want to go first. Uh, so we're gonna go. We're gonna take the whole spectrum. We're gonna mm -hmm. go, if you will, hobbyist to uh, pro to then self-taught builder. I want to go to David Hall's experience as well today because David Hall uh, a video just came out and David Hall builds at a at a high level all right but he's completely self-taught and he just started a year ago I just want to use that as an inspiration and he has a full-time job we're gonna visit him later in the hour he has a full-time job he has a child and a wife and he has to wash the dishes as well so <laughs> and He's, he taught himself how to build stuff. So, anyways, uh, let's go. So goals. Uh, in the, in, Those are my wait. goals, right? <laughs> <laughs> in the in the YouTube in the YouTube channel uh, in the YouTube channel, Tish Coronet, good friend of mine, says we're moving like Second Life noobs with freebie AOs. Well, now, there's no animations in Sansar yet. Like soon, they're gonna add that wait. ability to upload animations, right? So wait, it'll get better. Yes. Yeah, but I, I don't understand. I want to repeat this, and I said this before. Is Ryan still here? And we I'm said it because, here. Ryan, come over here, because I, lo I had you on the camera while you were talking. Right now, what we're doing, we're, <gasps> we're using our arms with the controllers. Do you guys know what a technical feat this is? Or uh, onto behind me, onto go into your megastar pose, <laughs> lift your head. The, the the Sansar face. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I we're, love it. We're we're entering a new era. I know that not a lot of people have headsets, and I know it's expensive. I'm fully aware of that, and it's not really super level the playing field right now. But this is working towards the future. The facial animation is just amazing. the The face has 135 plus uh, bones. I'm I'm told. And if you can see Ryan here, I'm going to go closer. Or even Strawberry, who is in the desktop mode. Oh, this is a good good sign here. Here's Strawberry and Ryan on my camera. I stood now, this, you guys have this a way so I can take a picture with my uh, license plate. <laughs> oh, very cool. I didn't realize that was your license plate. Oh, I should have noticed. <laughs> very delicious. Okay, I just so, got so that. YouTube I'm sorry. Folks. I'm blonde. I'm very slow. <laughs> no, YouTube folks, now watch Ryan and Strawberry talk together. And that is all real-time animation right now. Ryan has a headset. Strawberry doesn't. So Strawberry looks fairly stiff. This, this is a matter of weeks before this is happening with Keyframe. But <laughs> Ryan is doing real-time stuff with the controllers. And the face of both of you guys is animated by the speech patterns and by the intensity and the volume and and the inflections of what you say. 
Yeah, I understand so, that. The thing is that I can't let, really... Wait, wait, wait. No, no, I can't really okay. see it myself in desktop mode. I can't zoom in close enough to see the faces, like my earrings, the details. Uh, I see you from far away. I can see kind of your, your lips moving, but, uh, you know, for me to see it in detail like you are in VR mode, it's your your mode is a lot better. Like, I, I can, when I was be. looking at your stream, I can see my fa like face animating, but for me... I can't zoom in that much with my ah. with in desktop mode. So yeah, but you can you can use flycam. Just you can use F4. F4. Yeah, and then you can yeah. You but it's it's just it's those. not as detailed as the VR definitely. It's like, not as immersive. Yeah, that's the difference. Yeah, exactly. I hear a voice that has said that sounds like David. Where is he? Yeah, I'm over here. Oh. Hi, David. You look different. Yeah. You used to look like Ryan Schultz without the paint. <laughs> That's the, the beautiful thing about Sanzar. You can be whoever you want to be. Exactly. You can be a guy who looks like a corporate Republican or a dude in a T-shirt. That's awesome. That's like real choice. Uh, I mean, I laughed yeah. so hard when Maxwell graphs that I looked like a corporate Republican because my personal politics, I'm like a liberal Canadian, which oh my is... God. That's which like is basically worst. compared to American politics is basically socialist. Oh my god, and, we have a socialist. Uh, <laughs> <Marxist. laughs> so, I, I, just, um, I, I put uh, an David. offer in on this house and it got bought out from underneath me. I'm kind of sad about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it got bought out, but the car is right there. Okay, so let's go hopping. Uh, let's wrap up this 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 conversation. Strawberry is of course. <laughs> Um, correct, but the facial animations, thats I want to make this point, they are triggered by a company that provides the technology called Speech Graphics and they do uh, that. This, there should be no difference between desktop mode and VR. So the the liveliness of, of, of how, we, how we speak and how, how the face is triggered by that is pretty much the same. Now please So where are we going today? Cool. Where are we going? I did lead us, amazing. lead us. Come. Hey, why is Drax the leader? I don't appreciate it. <laughs> I, oh, it's the Barry okay. and Drax it's show. His show. <laughs> right. <laughs> is, it the, he, is it the Barry and Drax show or the Drax and Barry show? It's the Barry he and has Drax the microphone. Show. Except I'm stuck in the middle here. <laughs> I have the microphone, so I'm leading. <laughs> oh, fine. <laughs> Wait, let me check on the uh, on the YouTube stream so that I don't miss. Uh, okay, so let's go over here, and this time it should work because there should be a teleport. Oh, look at those shadows! So you on the say ground. that's kind of cool. Yeah. Wait, there was somebody, and she disappeared. Oh, by the way, wait, 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 wait. Before we go, uh, I want to show guys um, in the house. This is what we're gonna do from now on. There is a note. So if you're curious. Um, when we're going uh, Atlas hopping next, every time I have a new date, we'll, you, will, you will get the updates. Just go here and you'll see the note on the door. Oh, cool. Yeah. So this is this Thursday, which is obviously today at 9 a.m., which is uh, kind of now, 15 minutes ago. And uh, that's where the annou uh, announcement is going to be. Yeah? So uh, that is... Uh, oops, I see first you got some mail, Drax. I did? Where? Yeah, it's here on the it's here on the table with the lamp. Ooh! Oh, oh my god! Ah, I'm it's probably for his mom. Button. Yeah, it's the eviction notice that my mom <laughs> solicited for me. So you're gonna know to which, you're gonna know from who the big one is from. <laughs> uh, wait, I have a problem because I have the Oculus on my head. I, I'm, okay, let me let me put it on. Oops. I had it intentionally on my head so I can see the YouTube stream, but now I'm going to just put it on. Grabbing my controllers here. I so think Rhea, I'm you were... not going to be able to grab it, but just check it out. Oh, yeah. Which way around is the microphone icon? Can can folks hear me speaking now? Yeah, I can hear you. Yes, yes can hear I can you. Okay, hear you. thanks. So I, I I think I was uh, misinterpreting the microphone icon. They're a little so hard to decipher it, at times. Yeah, when it's not got the slash through, it's live, correct? Right. right. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas, yeah, okay, when it's got a slash through, it's not it's not operating. 
Oh, I, I forgot can't. to ask if you guys are getting feedback from my mic today. No, that's pretty good. No. Okay, uh, good. And uh, I was saying earlier that Strawberry's comment about not being able to zoom in, I'm on desktop mode, and unfortunately I can't put my Oculus on. Now I'm in desktop mode. You can't add it later. Uh, but uh, looking at Strawberry's face, for instance, I can see her mouth animated, but not my own. So yeah. your, own, your own avatar doesn't actually have the motion, so you don't know it's working. Well, that would I be can good see feedback. your mouth moving eye. No, no I, 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 someone said that before to me. So you, I think useful feedback would be if your own avatar that mouth was moving. That would let you know the microphone was live, because otherwise there's no indication your, your microphone's working. And you know what mm. it's like. A, a lot of telecom type systems, microphones are always a big deal and big problem. Well, if you look to the right, if you're in the desktop client and you look to the right, the little yep. microphone icon will have a slash through it when it's not if, working. I, I understand that. I've got it the wrong way around, Ryan. No, but what Austin was saying is very good feedback. As a matter of fact, I just typed that into the into the channel that uh, it's. I think it's incredibly important to see your own mouth moving as well. Yeah, because I, 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 I agree. if I look at myself in third person, so you know, I can switch to third person mode. Like for example, right now, I'm. I, I see. I can put the mic into yeah. Austin's head yeah. like this. How are Ed you? Are you coming to us from Edinburgh? Oh, we are indeed. Edinburgh, Scotland. Hello there. And, and unfortunately, I can't put my headset on without logging off and coming back. So oh. you ca I can't So I can't wave at you. Oh, that I see because it's running under uh, Steam VR uh, or, or no, Oculus. No, no, no. It's because I'm on the desktop mode. I would have to stop the client. I tried adding the, the headset and making oh. that live afterwards. Uh, I, I'm I'm at home, so I'm not using my CV1. I'm using a DK2 at home. Oh. And uh, that doesn't let me add it later. So, uh, but the I guess... DK2 still works. That's interesting. Okay, yeah, I does. can see... Sorry, sorry. i got to be rude because I know that some people on the YouTube... Well, everybody wants something different. Some people on the YouTube stream, they're, 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 they're thinking of me as an, as an elitist because I always talk about headsets. Oops. Strawberry, you're in my way. It's like your car is in my way, and now that's you're my, in my that's way. That's my goal in life. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go here through this door to your left and see. Let's see where we're going. The Who door wants that to you go tried first? to take us through last week and it didn't work. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this should be fun. <laughs> It, Strawberry, you're like you're, you're, you sound to be like the mainstream press. I was in this world and nothing works. It sucks. <laughs> I'm gonna be the devil's ad advocate all the time. <laughs> okay, I mean, I really enjoy. I mean, I am enjoying Sansar, even though I know there's for me right now not a lot to do. But I just enjoy logging and seeing the beauty of it. You know. So we just walk through the door. You keep you keep saying there's nothing you do. Look. You can I'm stand doing next stuff. to your I'm, car yeah. for two hours, <laughs> look at your license plate. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. really enjoyable. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if I learn to build, then yeah, there'll be stuff for me to do. So. But we're going to go in here. Useless. We're going to. No, we're going to look at uh, Lenny's. Lenny's not a builder, and let's see what she built. Okay. Uh, so we let's just walk go through the door. What's yep. the name of her place? I don't know. It's not working. Do you think I prepare for these things? <laughs> it's not working, Drax. I can't go through. Wait, but it worked for the other people. I don't know. Maybe you can only Oh my god. Like... <laughs> you you set me up, didn't you, Drax? <laughs> you made it so I can't walk through. <laughs> yeah, it's not working, Drax. <laughs> really the weirdest thing. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, I'm gonna search for Lenny's place on Atlas. And see okay, so it's called. Okay, then I'm gonna do that also on the, the Atlas. Roof? Um, Is it called the, the roof? roof? Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'm gonna put, paste the link in chat, and you, everybody can just teleport over. I put paste it in chat. I'm gonna share the link in the live stream too, guys, in case you guys want to join us.
you know, speed test and do and see what the ping is to something like Comcast. I was using Comcast in Seattle. So, and see okay. what you get, Ryan. I, I'd be interested to know that because it's one. Yeah, it was, I'll try to do that later today if I yeah, remember. It was between 180 and 185 milliseconds from the UK. Are you in the Slack channels that they put up for the, the closed beta I, users? I am, but I've not been on it for a while. Oh, okay, because that's what I use for my primary communications right now yeah, with I, Linden I, Lab. I've seen you there, Ryan. Yeah. Is wow, Drax really not like here again? Globe. Well, I think he's waiting for everyone else to get through before he goes himself. We couldn't get through the door, so I had to teleport here. <laughs> oh, really? It wasn't working. Oh, I was able to get through the door. <laughs> it wasn't working for us, so I don't know. Yeah, the door, oh, the door worked for me. <laughs> The trouble, the trouble is if uh, everybody's in the way, the, the avatars don't jostle each other out of way gently. Yeah. The well, you know in SL, like you could push yeah. an avatar aside if you walk at it and right, just the right no. angle. Really? You, you can't. Oh, sure you can. Look if you that, have I'm an trying. avatar that's away from the keyboard and you want to get him kind of moved out of the way, you can kind of walk right into him and move him gently aside. Are you, you can't sure do that, that in Sansar. I'm sure you can. Oh, oh, sorry. No, can I have one it, please? In, yeah, in, in are, most, uh, in most systems you can. Uh, here, so uh, be to help you. I see Rhea's at the kebab, Mark. Yeah, I went to get the vegetarian one, but um, that's gonna happen. Oh, and I have a problem. My controller. Oh, you can move the globe aside. You can push it. Okay, cool. Oh, cool. Uh, I can't even mute my mic. Sorry, guys. I think I'm gonna have to relaunch, change the batteries. You just have one arm that doesn't move anymore. So oh, Lenny is says... not a builder, and she made this through stuff from the Sansar stores? Yes, Lenny is Ooh. not a builder. She's a consumer, and she built this herself using stuff from the Sansar store. See, this is what I need to do. <laughs> but I just want a big strawberry in my experience. That's all I want. Well, you can, I'm sure you could get a, somebody to create one for you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that happened a lot during the creator preview. Like I really like this flow. This is else really nice. Build. I like this. You just ask and people will build stuff for you. I, I like building stuff for other people. I also like the fact that it's that you can move it around. The globe you can? Yeah, the globe is dynamic. It's basically a dynamic object. You can pick it up oh, and move it around if you have if a you, VR yeah, headset. Yeah, if you have a headset, right. But, it, but if you're not in, if you're in desktop mode, you should still be able to walk into it to move it. Yeah, oh, okay. I'm in desktop mode. Okay. Oh, here we are. <laughs> right now, uh, right now, I is busy kicking, I, Austin, is busy kicking around the globe. There's Drax half an hour later. Bring it back. Well, it took you long enough. What happened? You guys didn't wait for me. I mean, come on. <laughs> So wait a minute. Did some of you guys who 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 went through the teleport? Did that work? I did. I went through the teleport. It worked flawlessly. Oh, yeah, yeah, the teleport okay. worked for me, Drax. I want to kick the globe. I want to kick the globe. So this is really important. And 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 please let me say this real quick. Also to you, Strawberry. I want to say this to you and to your viewers because you have higher ratings. I'm sure you have like. <laughs> you, you Finally, have like he seven... admits it. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. I gotta face them. My my shrink says, my shrink says, oh my the the sooner I acknowledge that that you have more subscribers, I don't he, know. He, he not no, yet but on YouTube. I think no, not on no. YouTube yet. No, only on Facebook and Twitter. I have more, <laughs> but YouTube not yet. But I'm getting there. Ah! Only two hundred away. <laughs> you guys are hysterical. Really, you two are quite funny. Well, my shrink says, listen, my shrink says, I need to admit that the, that the Facebook thing is bothering me, that you have uh, five <laughs> or 11,000, whatever. Uh, no, but, 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 but uh, serious, uh, seriously for a minute, and please, YouTube folks, look at this and tell me what you think. So this is a starter. This is a starter skybox. Or no, I think Lenny made that skybox. I'm, I'm not sure if it's a starter skybox. But the fact of the matter is... I think this is a fantastic example for people who say, well, I, what can I do? I can't do anything. Yes, you can. That would be me. You can, you can upload content that you find elsewhere if you can't build. You can take starter content. You can take free stuff from the second li uh, from the second life from the Sansar marketplace. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a Freudian slip. Mm -hmm. Where's my shrink when I need him? Uh, <laughs> and look, and then she has. <laughs> This she is a herself. lovely. This is a lovely skybox. It really is. I think she got this from the Sansar store too. I don't think she made this. Yeah, and here you have the balloon. Are the balloons physical? Can you grab them? You can. 
Okay, that particular balloon that you're pointing the camera at is is not dynamic. You can't pick it up, but the other ones lying on the ground are dynamic. One sec, I have to put my headset on. You oh, can yeah. pick up the ones lying on the ground. See? Okay. Oh, wait a minute, I dropped it again. See? Oh, no, you're standing on it. Drax, get off my balloon. <laughs> Here we go. Adventures in VR. Strawberry, put the cam. Strawberry, put the camera on me. Camera on me. Hello. Think about it. Hello there. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> somebody, somebody block her. Um, oh, you can stand on the balloon too. Very cool. <laughs> oh yeah, you can. You can now, that's push something it around. you can't do in reality. If you did that in reality, the balloon would have exploded. Um, anybody else here wants to chime? Oh, here's somebody waving. Who is this? Vista. The sky oh my god. The skybox, Vista. by the way, is, is, is a freebie and it's uh, called Galactic Spiral on the store. Really? Oh, Vista Barnes. I need to hug Vista Barnes. Oh, Vista, yes, Vista Barnes, Barnes is here. <laughs> Hi, Vista. Hola, Vista Barnes. Vista Barnes? <laughs> <laughs> Say something, Vista Barnes, please. Is this like. What is this? Is this like freebie animations? I mean, Vista Barnes from Vista Animations, the god Hey, of... someone got a banana. I want a banana. Oh, my uh, God. Here's a gremlin uh, wolf. I don't know if you can hear me. <laughs> oh, my God. A oh, my God. Here. Oh, wait. <laughs> Strawberry, can you this is a gremlin. Yeah, can yeah, you... yeah can you... we can hear you. Oh, okay, I wasn't sure. I'm having a lot of trouble today, actually. It's just... Yeah. Uh... Yeah. I want a banana. <laughs> I want a banana. Just, you just generally having problems? <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I don't know. It's... Um... I only got the rift like a couple of days ago, so I'm just figuring it all out. But oh my I god, Vista. I'm adding Did you as a friend, Vista. Bananas? Uh, Does the banana get free when you get an Oculus Rift? Wait, just for the place. At the moment. I'm not sure what's going on. Wait, and I can add you as a friend. Okay, let me see the folks who are watching this on YouTube. Now here we have a battle of the animators, right? So <laughs> this is Vista Barts in the Bremlin Dome, and it's got to be oh, on the keyboard. Sorry, it's got to be, be a fight to the death. <laughs> I'll turn my mic off when I pound. <laughs> Careful with the is keyboard. That, is that Vista? Is that Vista waving? I don't know. <laughs> yes, that's him. Oh, wait, I'm He's Vista. waving at you. <laughs> And you keep waving with your banana, apparently. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> I mean, come on, guys. I'm trying to. Do you want some of the banana? <laughs> yeah. Can I? <laughs> uh, I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I can't. I'm trying to reach it to you. <laughs> Wait, but is it an attachment, or did you pick it up somewhere? Yeah. Oh no. Uh, yeah. I. I just. Um, I was messing around with the attachments yesterday, and uh, the only thing I could find was a banana. So. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is the. Think, this is the. Is it in the sensor store? Stream. At least it distinguishes you from everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a gremlin, the one with the banana. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you know, people say you can't, you can't be creative, and you can't sort of uh, stylize and, and customize your avatar. You can l listen, guys. Now, a gremlin has the trademark on the guy with the banana. <laughs> <laughs> it's Sorry. important to establish a brand. <laughs> yeah. And Ryan is the Republican with the name tag, but who's right. actually a, 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 a liberal Canadian, which is the same as a Marxist in Scotland. So, since we have established that, uh, Vista Barnes, who is a um, who is a separatist from <laughs> Catalonia, no. But seriously, a Bremelin, what do you think yeah. of this thing? You just got a rift. What do you uh, think the, of yeah, this Sansa the... thing? The, the, I think it's amazing. I mean, to, to be honest, the um, the this uh, uh, you know the re release version Oculus with the touch connectors and everything yeah. is is something else. I'd only tried the, tried the um, Dev Kit one before, and I was a bit skeptical of it. But yeah, it's uh, it's completely immersive, and it's it's actually it's really amazing. Actually, the controllers really amazing. are amazing. Okay, wait, but, uh, Gremlin. But the, the I love that Vista it. keeps waving. And I'm sure I'm sure Vista <laughs> will feel the same as this. The tracking uh, and the IK on the arms and how yeah, I... how perfectly they're working is incredible. It's actually this incredible. Is incre exactly, and and this is so hard to convey. I have people tell me, "Oh, look, everybody looks like totally weird." Guys, do you even understand? Oh, it's we're, we're moving towards. We're moving towards basically. The Abramlin you know, look, Wolf can... story was yeah, episode I'm, six I'm where you dancing. Yeah, You're exactly. absolutely <laughs> right, Traxter. The only person that looks weird is you. <laughs> ah, <laughs> strawberry. I I look pretty cool with my new haircut.
you do. <laughs> I will never get a haircut. But when Abremelin talked to me in the, in this one of the first episodes, you were saying like that your first uh, animation suit was I don't know how much fifty thousand dollars or whatnot, and it was it looked like I mean this concoction with yeah, insane it was, concoction uh, and it was a load of poles that are connected to all the limbs and you felt like you're in a weird contraption when you were walking around in it. Was really and now we're good. moving towards real-time animation. Oh yeah, it's amazing. But uh, I don't, I don't think that you know. I think I know. I've heard a lot of people, and you know, and, you know, Vista and I have probably both been thinking about this a lot because the you know the animation thing. But I see this as something that will actually complement. Um, I mean, I don't know. Obviously, you know, it's like lots of things. It's it's hard to know how Lind and Lab are going to um, implement everything and what decisions they're going to make, but. You know, I could see this as something that, you know, imagine if I was doing, I don't know, belly dance. <laughs> yeah. And, um, and <laughs> without I can a actually, yeah, without mm -hmm. a banana. Um, <laughs> and yeah, I could still just you move my potassium. arms. I mean, I, I notice, I notice it's just, you know, the head and the arms. And I, I could actually, if, if I chose, say, okay, I want to do the rest of the dance, but I just want to be able to control my arms through this bit. And um, it, it could be really fun. It could be a really fun thing. Yeah. <laughs> Look at and... Vista, guys. <laughs> Vista, can you speak or have you... <laughs> He's just I, uh, dancing all over no the place. I microphone, I think. No, here he is. Vista, you. we can oh, hear you. I can hear you. Yeah, can hear me. you. Oh, God, don't yeah. fuck me. <laughs> I, well, just, uh, I, have, I am here with the... With the eight, Vive, and I have my dog around, and I'm kicking him all the time. Adventures in VR. Poor dog. <laughs> and he's crying because he don't know what I'm doing. Oh, you need to attach an HTC Vive puck to your dog no, so that you can my... see your dog in virtual reality. Hello. <laughs> oh, that's Hello. right. Vista, what do you think so far? <laughs> what do you... <laughs> Vista, you are, what are you, you definitely doing is some sort of ballet going on right here. <laughs> it looks like Tai Chi. I have a problem. What's the moment? Vader. ¿Qué pasa? Basta. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Dear viewers, here's what's going on. Vista is trying to kill his dog with the Vive controller <laughs> while Abremlin is trying to give Vista's dog a banana, but it's not working because Sansa is just not working yet. It's in beta. <laughs> Bananas okay, cannot yet be transferred from uh, yeah, one continent banana. to the other. It's a banana. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that they have a microphone already. It's it's built in. I didn't know that it was built into the Vive for the longest time. Nice to see you again, Drax. Yeah! Oh, you guys are hugging. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Strawberry, why don't you ask Vista what he's going to do in the animation business in Sansar? Or is it even necessary now that we can have all these weird movements? We'll Maybe see, it's no? a secret. Uh, we will see what we are able to do. At the moment, we are just exploring in the yeah. same way that you are doing. But I'm really excited about it. Yeah. At you the moment, you be... can't upload animations, right? Um, as far as I know, we can't. But uh, I haven't tried uh, so hard yet. So we are we are mainly in holidays all day. I was here in Spain, you know. So until September, it's like we are not working. What are you saying that Spanish people work? When the, oh when, yeah, when... the rest of the year from <laughs> right. one of January until fifteen January. <laughs> 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 this is almost like the Hawaiians when the Hawaiians yeah, work from, yeah, yeah. from Wednesday morning to Wednesday at 9 a.m. Um, I think somebody told me, and I don't want to misquote him, but one Linden who shall not be named that uploading keyframe animations is around the corner, but whatever that means. Uh, I just noticed we have Lenny Foxtrot here who built this experience. Lenny, can can you use voice? She's typing. Ah. She Strawberry, can earlier. you maybe read? I, I am she listening was, typing. She was saying earlier that she's loving this, uh, she, and she hoped that this would be a place to laugh like this and just be together. This was earlier in chat. Ask her. Uh, oh, I guess she can hear. Lenny, can you type to us how you put this together? I mean, because maybe you can, you can give said, people hope. She just said, I'm loving this. Thank you, Strawberry. So I, I, she might be typing something else now. Yeah. She didn't say, Strawberry, thank you, Strawberry. That's impossible. She absolutely what did. I, 
No, no, you're when lying. Is, uh, is when I went in to customize the look, just to put a bracelet on, uh, to specialize the avatar, I lost okay. all the nearby chat. So it clears it out when you come back after... Spe- is after she typing? Right, I noticed okay. that too. All the nearby chat yeah. disappears. Even oh. when you teleport to a different place, sometimes it disappears yeah. too. That's not good, is it? Yeah, because you no. No, they need to right. fix that. that. That's got to be persistent. Somebody needs to put yeah. a bug report in the forums. I, I've already uh, mentioned it in the forum. Excellent. Oh, good. But, Thank but you. It, it needs picking up on pretty quick because you lose all the links and the go backers and things like that. You know. Yeah. Yeah, the local chat is that's correct. But but I think um, Ebe has said a few times that all this stuff, the chat is extremely. They're fully aware that it's very preliminary and it's One really second. a I'm back. kind of a. Vista is having technical difficulties. <laughs> can, can you not see the chat in VR? Does the, does it not? Does it no, not you can't. You can't no, see you can. the chat at all when you're in a VR headset. There's no reason why that couldn't just be a floating panel like the like the other menus. It will be. It will be. It's just like a, a matter of priorities and it, what. It needs, um... it needs speech transcription though, you know, so that you can use something like Alexa. It needs connecting to it so you can do the do the speech transcription, because uh, then you don't have to type. Let me go over here real quick because I see really good beer. No, all that stuff is, <laughs> is all that stuff is on the roadmap. You can actually get this Drax beer for free, I think, in the store. Drax, um, Lenny is saying yeah. she's so happy that people came here, and she said I made silly things, and it feels so good to know that it's that's okay. That's awesome, Lenny, and that's really my my goal to, to come here first for the for today's stream was really to to show that there is no reason why uh, anybody wouldn't couldn't start just making stuff, okay? Just sort of place making. I'm actually working on a documentary in Second Life right now that's all about place making and avatars, but the place making is important. Uh, so you got where did you get these these flowers from, for example? I mean, you know, I think. The, the the place but wh- wherever you get that stuff from when you put it together this this your place really reminds me of the first week I was in second life because I came mm-hmm. in and I saw all these places that that were so just personal and they were not meant to be representative or um how should I say they were only representative of the people themselves I felt um and a lot of people left Second Life for the reason that it wasn't like a polished game or whatever. Uh, I heard that opinion expressed to me many, many times. But but exactly that kind of hopping from place to place where it's a personal expression, I found is is really the the most the most appealing of of all factors that really kept me around. I don't know how anybody else feels about that. Ryan. Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't listening. <laughs> mm. oh, I just Canadian started tuning Marxist. you out. After a while, you know. Yeah. No, I understand. That happens to me, too. It drags. <laughs> Lenny says she got the flowers from Paint 3D. From there really, you go. Her first import. So you were able to actually import stuff from Paint 3D into Sansar. That is so cool. Yeah, she that said it was so her first cool, import. And... <clears throat> oh well, that is, I mean, there you go. Proof of concept: a child That's can it. use Paint 3D. It is so easy to use. That is awesome. That's your prim building in Sansar. Use Paint 3D and Microsoft Windows 10. Now I know all the Mac users are going to get all up in arms and all upset oh, yeah. because there's no native Mac client. I'm not <laughs> even going to get started. Just go look at my blog, Sansar News Blog. I've posted about Mac users in Sansar. Everything I want to say, I said there. Yep, read Ryan's blog about about the Mac. That's uh, that's another one of those thorny issues that came up last week. If I get a Sansar dollar for every time somebody says, "Oh, Linda Lab sucks because they don't put out a Mac client," God, I would be a Sansar millionaire. Okay, shall we go somewhere else? Because yes, I'm let's. sorry, I, I I need to look at the at the clock too. We need. We to were make going this... to David's oh. place next. No. No. You just said. Dave, where is David? Until yeah, maybe later. I went to get some pizza rolls for the trip. Where are we going? <laughs> lead wait, us, for... lead us. Wait, first of all, let let me see if I. Oh, here's Lucy Aferenzi. I just want to acknowledge everyone that I haven't acknowledged earlier. Lucy Aferenzi, and here is Amelie Marcour. Hello, and I I still can't add you as a friend here in VR. I don't know why. Um, Lenny, how do we get back to Harvest? Because I want to go somewhere else first. 
and then we're going to go to David's because David is then another example because David is a um, a professional developer who has been in the 3D business for 30 years and and he uh, makes uh, I think a million dollars revenue so he's one of those elitist types um, right David is that right that's you right have, like, yeah, I mean uh... You have ten you know, people working for you who make the models and stuff. God of War. What is Drax uh, going on about again? Uh, <laughs> you know, know, it's calling Skyrim. people elitists. <laughs> I, I made all those all by myself. <laughs> oh, I actually what, pushed the balloon. Talking, you, there you go. Congratulations. So exciting. Okay, so how do we get back? How, <laughs> can we get back to Harvest from here? Is no. there like a portal? You can't. No. Uh -huh. I Here, there's the harvest link one. In chat. Yeah, I'll just put go. the link in chat for Thank those who've got chat. Um, okay, so we're going back to, to, to one fourteen harvest. Anything in, in chat, Let's go back to harvest, good. and okay. then uh, we'll go to the uh, through the other door. I have okay. something for okay. there. Or oh, we'll try, we'll try to go through the door. Okay. hope you guys are having fun on the live stream if you have any questions feel free to um send them in the chat and i'll try and get people to answer them if i don't have the answer myself hey ria hi Brad? so which way do we oh, go drax the... is working. oh gindipple hello we have some new folks here Hey, I'm curious, what in here was use of physics? Oh, use of physics? Yeah. Uh, maybe Rhea wants to answer that because there's tons of stuff. There's a fully playable board game. Yeah, sorry, um... I'm just eating my salad. Um... <laughs> <laughs> okay, folks. Yeah, basement is full of physics. Go over here. Grab and throw. There's a board oh, game which you can play. There is also a game uh, with the beer boxes which could play be played. Let's see who in teams. else is here. Uh, everywhere around, you should just go and hey, explore. Hey, Ramsey Garden is with us too. Grab, look at, Ramsey, throw, what's touch, happening? Pass on. Stuff like that. Good morning, everybody. Hey, Ria. Hey, Ria. Hi, Matt. Okay, so by physics, it, it just means a ball up a ball. <laughs> Yeah, okay, here's my friend Ramsey Garden okay. from uh, Munich, Germany. Let's go to the next place over here, folks. Somebody Follow has the radio me. on. Yeah, turn your mic off, guys. Switch your mic. And in terms of the physics thing, uh, Jin, I would advise you to go down to the basement and see for yourself because Ria did an amazing job of physics. And... There's a fully playable board game, um, among many other things. Okay, let's go through this door. Please work this time. <gasps> it works. She disappeared. Look at that. Where's Strawberry? <gasps> She's behind me again. She's talking behind well, my back. If you move out of my way, I can go through the door. <laughs> like blocking Strawberry. <laughs> Purposely uh, blocking me. <laughs> <laughs> The silence by Omeluo. I haven't been to this place yet. Oh wow. In YouTube, uh, ask, ask questions, questions if you like. If you like. Alright, so, so this is pretty cool here. I just want to say if someone, someone has their microphone on and yeah. it's not on and it's not me. Max is here. Hi, Max. 
anybody oh, notice wow. that I'm not saying anything? <gasps> Free Wee Ling is here. Free Wee Ling. Thanks for coming, Free Wee. Thanks for watching my stream and then coming in. Apparently, there's somebody else streaming as well, but we don't really care. Somebody more important. Oh. This is really pretty. It's like how to pack 30 avatars in one small barber shop. <laughs> Who's gonna go first? It's gonna be a long wait for a haircut with all these people waiting. Yeah, I need mine desperately colored. I really think this is, I mean, this is really well done, obviously. Um, is Vista still with us? I don't know, but this Japanese man that's singing is making me sad. Yeah. Maxwell, you're a. Uh, what do you think about this thing here? What thing? <laughs> Which thing are you talking about? I think a lot of these things are awesome. I do like how they sort of faked the lack of metallic reflection by adding a texture of a reflection. And it kind of. It makes it. it they pull it off, you know? Mm -hmm. Yes. It's very well done. Very, very well done work. Is any of you guys not concerned about the metaverse idea? I mean, we're kind of hopping around into these isolated experiences. That's another form of criticism I, I heard this past week. Yeah, I think that's going to be a problem. Uh, you imagine if there were more of us, we wouldn't have ended up in the same experience, Draxter. You know, you, you'd have been somewhere and we'd have turned up and there'd have been no, no one leading the experience. I think it's going to grow, though. Like, I think if you look at uh, Skyrim, like, that's a really immersive game. And it, 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 it operates on some of the same principles, just teleporting into, into new cell spaces. So I think yeah, that's that, a lot we can do within that, the current that, that's a, that, Sure, that's okay for experiences. But you imagine if this is a classroom or, uh, or if we were actually doing this kind of tour where we want to be in the same group. We don't want to turn up into an experience and find we're one of 40 when the other 40 have all moved on. Yeah, and I think that's just technological lag. Like, once the technology catches up, like, I, I just picture this growing, you know what I mean? And getting better as the technology catches up. But, but uh, Austin, is also, you're talking about instancing, and I'm convinced Correct. Correct. that instancing will be will be uh, optional that yeah. you can at, at some point can say after 50 people come in, you want to close it down and create a duplicate, you yeah. know? No, I, so I agree with you, Dragster. I think it's exactly that. There's certain experiences which are well suited to to instancing, and and others that aren't. And you should be able to just tick that on your on your definition of your experience. If if that's my classroom, it's got to be non non instanceable. For yeah. Instance. Yeah. I think that's going to be. Awesome. It makes me. It makes me wonder if if the real life aspects of the physical space are going to play into how people would want to control whether you can instance it or not. For example, if we're in a small one-room barber shop, you wouldn't want more fifty, more than 50 people to be in here. So, exactly. you know, do you want to create another instance of an empty barber shop, or do you want to remain persistent and be like, ah, uh, Phil barber shop is full up today, I can't get in. Exactly. <laughs> uh, exactly. Uh, exactly. Uh, exactly. I think this has to be absolutely in the hands of the creator because yeah, you it's might a design want to do decision. A, you, you, exactly. You might want to create yeah. a jazz club and when, when the, the jazz club is a small club and there was a 50 people, the bouncer says, no, you got to come back tomorrow's another show or whatnot. I want to say again, Free we, if you can hear us, please type in the chat. It's really great seeing you because we have, uh, I've been following your take on um on sensor also on your various social media platforms mainly uh facebook so it's great hey free we um old school sl we should go this is beautiful see i'm dancing and it's, it's really good to know that i'm never gonna buy a vista animation again i think we're gonna vista that is out of business very unlikely <laughs> is this the bard still here <laughs> 
<laughs> You're lucky that he's not. Are they, are they like a banana? Oh, oh a bremelin! A bremelin is harassing me! He's a troll! Get out! Get him out of here! A bremelin! <laughs> Listen to bremelin, now that... Now that uh, Vista is not with us, let's just cut a deal between us, man, and <laughs> let's just try to drive him out. Drive him out of town! This barbershop ain't big for the both of us! <laughs> I think this is a, this kind of like... It's like taking drugs, being in here. It's not not healthy. I tell you what, oh, I really... Imagine I really if you had to... Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, sorry? Oh. <laughs> I was saying, imagine if you had to go to a barber shop to get your hair changed in in here. Yeah. People would throw a fit. But Max, see, this is what I would find absolutely awesome. For example, uh, I also, I mean, most people would throw throw a fit. You're absolutely right. But I would also find it pretty cool if you, for example, created an experience where it's impossible to teleport, and you, let's say you have to take the bus. Imagine. You're creating like this experience, and when the bus is <laughs> like coming, you can't teleport. I would find that totally cool. You wanna you wanna create a metaverse where you have to catch a cab, yes. and it supports someone being a cabbie in in a virtual environment, which oh, yes, is then people can have kind of weird cabbie. but kind of awesome at the same time. Yeah, virtual, I, virtual you, but. What I like about um, Ready Player One is one aspect, and it's been written before, I mean, that's a concept that's been written about in, in science fiction before, but in Ready Player One, I think it's used effectively that there's people who can't, who can't go from one planet to the other because they don't have the dough for the fare, you know? I think that's kind of... I, it's, I, oh, God, oh, God, I know that people will sort of now bash me and say, like, you know, it's like an ultra-capitalist dream world that I'm trying to create here where poor people can't uh, stay, have to stay on their planet. No, it's just... <laughs> if you can't afford the cab, you have to take two hours to walk there. <laughs> yeah, you poor bastard, you're lazy. You poor bastard. Why don't you get a freaking job? <laughs> Here, let me pay for you a cab home, you know? <laughs> I made but, those 20 million by myself, and I deserve it, so I can take it. <laughs> on the flip side, the, the, the revenue for teleporting to different experiences could be used to help support the creator. Like, if we had it set up like Ready Player One, where you had to pay to teleport to a different world. Yeah! That, you know, that, could, that could be support to the creator. Yes! Freaking yes. Total Recall, welcome to Johnny Cab. Ah, Total Recall. That's another one to rewatch. Folks, let's go to David's place. Shall we? How do we get there? With a cab? What is David's place Straight called? Straight through hell and then back. David's place is called Dwarfen... Revisited? No? Well, I changed the name because everyone was calling it Dwarven Fortress, even though that ah. wasn't what it was called. So now it's called Dwarven Fortress. Um, and it's down near 114 Harvest on the Atlas, down towards the bottom. Ah. Can you post a link to chat? I just did. Thank you, Strawberry. Always I'll see you guys at Dwarven Fortress. You're always like, it's me, I can That, uh, the song is haunting. It's gonna be... I hope you guys are enjoying the live stream and exploring with us in Sansar a little bit. I am trying to answer your questions in live chat as I see them. Um, I'm a little distracted though, so sorry if I miss a few. But um, again, we're going to be doing this Atlas hopping every week. Uh, it will happen on usually on Saturdays at 9 a.m. at P, uh, Pacific Standard Time. Uh, but today we did it on Thursday because Drax is going to be out of town on Saturday, so hopefully not this coming Saturday, but the Saturday after you can join us again. I believe this will probably be the last um, experience that we visit today in Sansar.
along with um, the lighting and sense, are one thing I really love are the sounds. The sounds are so rich in a lot of these experiences. It's so kind of like refreshing like not to. Yeah. It, it's kind of refreshing not to have like bombardment right. of music yeah. and sound when you go to a place. There's a lot that, of really loud ones. That's right. And you need to be able to mute that separately, otherwise it's just dominating when people are trying to talk. I didn't hear the ocean until you mentioned it, but now that you do, I can hear it. I tried to make it unimposing. You know, it's interesting because the, there's been kind of a big debate among the, the developers to give you the ability as the creator of an experience to take certain things out of the hands of the visitor so that you can control the experience. I keep wanting to do a control shift Y to turn on the lights like they do in Second Life because that's the standard <laughs> operating procedure. The default. I, is I David here? I'm kind of glad that you can't do a control shift Y. David is here, I think. Yeah, I'm here. This is amazing, David. I love the lighting. This is absolutely beautiful. Thank you. You built everything yourself? Um, everything but the trees. Uh, Reed Parkins uh, trees are what I'm using, but everything else I built. The, wow. the, the sky, the mountains, the water. This is amazing. This Seriously. This is really well done, David. Thank you. Can we walk around a little bit? I want to like go inside yeah. that building and stuff. I don't know if that's Well, you possible. can't go inside the buildings yet, unfortunately. <laughs> it's just an outside experience. Okay. But there is a fun little uh, like circle. You can circle the the, the, the whole thing. Um, whenever Drax gets here, if you he, want to do that later, I can lead a tour. Drax is li in my live stream chat right now yelling at me because I have more viewers than him. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's still loading. He's not moving. Yeah, he says he's still David trying to load. Here. Drax, David. blink once if you can hear me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, is your uh, far distance mountain range, is that a like a cutout shape, like a, a, an alpha texture, or is that yeah. an actual geometry? No, that's, that, that, what I did is I took a, I took a mountain range panorama. Mm -hmm. I applied it as a texture to a cylinder. Oh, and, nice. Well, yeah. And I deleted out the sky in the picture. So it's, a, it's just that's a giant... Awesome. Uh, cylinder with a with the mountain painted hey, on it. You know that works big time for that for that far horizon. It, and it saves a work ton of fine. geometry, yeah. Right. I Ryan, really like these Pardon? Drax says that he's gonna t go to your pick next. Uh, oh, Colossal. Colossus Rising. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I wanted to show people Colossus Rising because I think it's really well done and they have animated gondolas that you can ride. That one was created by Sansar Studios. You can ride it even if you're in desktop mode? Back I'm not sure. You can try it and let me know. I believe you can. Sweet. Uh, people are talking again behind my I back. Think you okay, can, here uh, we go. I think cool. you can use the number one key to enter and exit a vehicle in desktop mode. Oh, oh I didn't know that. Thank There's you, a Max. useful tip. Thank you. Might, All right, here I am. Work. I'm not sure. Okay. I was reading the script. I just got it last night because I'm making snowboards today. From and then Drax is here. Range. Let's leave everybody. I'm gonna I'm gonna start messing with that vehicle script and see if we can get a. I, I'm just checking out the bill. Kind of There's been a coup. Strawberry's taking over. <laughs> yeah. If you're gonna oh if you're gonna God, wander off, funny. wander to the right. It's easier to get hey, around Max, that way. Call me to test the snowboards. Wait one second here, David. Cool. Please. David, a few words about this, uh, and we uh, also link to, to, to the video where you, you are very eloquent, I think, in, in, in passionately describing it. But what, what inspired you? How long does this stuff take? You have a day job and a child, as, as I said earlier. It, it's quite amazing that, that you did all this. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll tell the full story is that this was initially intended to be a... Uh, like a, a Team um, Fortress 2 level. It, no. <laughs> <laughs> It was initially intended to be like a Lord of the Rings, like uh, Dwarven underground city. And I had been working on that for a while. And uh, it just, it was too too daunting a challenge for me. So the pieces of, of what went into the beginning of building that turned into uh, to, to this uh, Dwarven fortress on a hill. Um, and I, I would say overall, I probably put about two or three months worth of work into it. Um, and doing all the, the meshes and, and uh, once I had the pieces like the layout actually only took me a week or so 
but in building all the assets probably took a couple of months. And what are your tools that you're using? Um, did, did you study that in school, 3D modeling? Uh, no, not at all. I, I started out uh, just, I, I had a friend at work who did 3D modeling um, and, and uh, that type of thing. And I was like, man, I really, you know, find it interesting and, and creative. I would love to do something like this. And this was before I even knew Sanzar was going to be a thing. And uh, he, he was, you know, he said, you know, recommended me to some tools. So I started learning Maya. That was the first thing I ever, ever worked in. Um, so I, I work in Maya and Substance Painter. I do a little bit of work in ZBrush uh, to sculpt textures for, for like rock and things. Um, and yeah, I just, I, you know, I picked it up and started learning it. And I had gotten into uh, one of the competitor uh, open alpha beta things before Sanzar. And uh, from don't there, I got it. it. Don't name it. I didn't. It. I said one of, one of the competitors. And, uh, <laughs> oh, the one that's called Wi-Fi? Wait a minute. Uh, no. Hey, somebody's mic is open, guys. Whose mic is open? Strawberry? You? David, this is this is really done so nice. I remember when you first started doing this, and me and you were talking about, uh, like, Underhall and the the, uh, the caves of Moria. Yeah, that was totally the, the vibe I was going for, and I feel like I'm going to come back to that someday. I just... think you didn't stray from it, really, that far, to be honest with you. Um, this is a part of Moria. We didn't get to see it in any of the movies. But uh, but yeah, I love the I love just being able to have like an idea or an inspiration, like Max was saying, and being able to to walk around in it, like to build your own world and then walk around it is like the most amazing thing to ever happen, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, do you have plans? I think I asked you this when when I interviewed you. But do you ha do you have plans to build interiors for these buildings and then actually? I mean, I think that that, that to me would be the logical next step, like little places where you can actually go inside and live i have more plans than i have david unfortunately um <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> and i'm yeah, a pretty i'm a pretty big problem. dude if you've seen my video uh, yeah. <laughs> but uh yeah like i think eventually i'd like to build an interior that like if you tell you can teleport from the door into the interior of it yeah uh, i'm also working on an ar game with some friends of mine um and i want to build like more I want to build more in Sanzar. Like I have other ideas of things I want to build in here, so uh, I'll always be be doing something. I, I don't know if this will ever get fully flushed out, but it might. It could. It could become part of a bigger thing. Somebody's typing. By the way, I want to show my viewers here. I can add friends. I'm going to add Wurfy as a friend. Wurfy is here now. Wurfy should get a friend notice. Wurfy's Here's already Robert my Sin. friend. Right, here's Strawberry. I'm going to remove her as a friend. See? <laughs> I was about to do very that. Easy. Very, very easy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is the most important skill, folks, of watching from home. <clears throat> Unfriend Strawberry. No. Okay, let's let's just walk around here. I and dare then you. Ryan had uh, Ryan wanted to go somewhere, and I do want to go before we wrap uh, where Ryan wants to go. But I, I let's freely wander around. And then maybe meet in a few minutes uh, at, a, at the flower pot over here. And let's just wander around and, and just take We'll meet at the food court. Meet, let's meet at the food court. So Damon. I'm going to the Gap first. You know what this place needs? <laughs> a really big strawberry. That could be cool. Maybe yeah. floating off out in the lake. Absolutely. Every, every um, place needs a strawberry. One of my favorite parts of this is the... Uh, the little stairwell tunnel to the left over there. Um, so if you make it over there, it's really cool, in to my the, opinion. To the left. Okay, I'm lost. Yeah, you have to go up <laughs> this stairwell and kind of jump down. Okay. Um, there, there's a, a lack of uh, walkway at one point, but I did that kind of on purpose because it's fun to jump off the ledge. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to try and follow you. Okay. I love all the lighting and the texture. The floor is amazing. Thank you. Look at that. Yeah. The stone and the copper I hand painted. Wow. Like this, uh, this stone stuff here was hand put together. Amazing. And you don't have a field in this, like a background in all of this? Not at all. I was an insurance agent and now I'm in <laughs> IT. Wow. Uh, so. <laughs> No, it's funny too, because like I, you know, I, I, I always thought I was, you know, I was in insurance and I hated it, and then I, I wanted to get into IT, and you know that's better. But once I started doing this stuff, I was like, wow, this is what I was meant to be. Like, 
I was an artist my whole life and I didn't know. Like... You have the talent for it, that's for sure. <laughs> I love this this wall here with the lighting and all that. So where was it you said we have to jump off? What? Right over here okay. where the stairwell is. I need to push that stairwell down a little bit. It's up a little too high. You're not like on Draxter's side setting me up or anything, are you? No, 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 no. Fall to my death. <laughs> no death in Sanzar yet. Okay, good. So just right here, if you just hop down, okay. or teleport down, if you Whee! don't like falling. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. We did it one day in a meeting, and like everybody, there were so many people that we started a little person power. <laughs> Ooh, I'm, I've got laggy a second. Someone in my live stream is asking, is Sansar fun? I think it's fun. I'm having fun logging in every week and just exploring. I'm not a creator, uh, but I'm having fun in Sansar for sure. Yeah. Well, that's good to know. That's good to know. Yeah. It's kept me interested for over a year as a creator. Like, there's all, I have a lot of other opportunities to go ply my trade now with other no, with other platforms, and, I mean, and Sansar's kind of kept my uh, my loyalty sorry, there. Cross, yeah. Cross vocals, cross vocals. But I, I am the excited vocals, when we start getting oh, in, no, more in-depp scripting the issue, and, I mean, the issue, uh, yeah. animation and that sort of thing. I, I want animations. I want to sit on things, because that's I what I always yeah. do in SL. I really want to sit on things. Yeah. <laughs> I really want to be able to drink a cup of coffee. And yes. I want to sit, and I want to chat, and different things. Hey, here's that other guy. How you can shape what you are, what you want people to experience here. I mean, yeah, to some degree, uh, there there are going to be people that always will demand that, you know, I want the ability to fly. Don't take that away from me. Or I want the ability to hit the hit the default lighting schematic and turn the lights to daylight noon here, rather than have you force this darkness on my viewer and make me see it a certain way there's always going to be people that are proponents of you know hey just put it out there and let me decide what i want to eat off the plate you know and i think it's i think with the additional technical capabilities that you already have here to do something like let's say make a more advanced game than perhaps you could get away with in sl because i it's love not this world yeah, it's kind of ended up being my favorite part too, and it was meant to be bigger. I just haven't fleshed it out all the way. Like there's a there's another walkway down below that you can get on if you want, but there's no way to get to it right now. Oops, I ran into her. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's still so hard to walk around a little bit in desktop because like it's so jerky the camera. I bet it's. A, I mean, obviously it's a lot smoother in VR. But VR yeah. really makes me sick. And even watching the camera in desktop mode here in Sansar, I kind of get a little bit nauseated <laughs> after a while because it's so jerky. But hopefully it'll improve. If, if you move an object in this experience, um, does that persist? Or is it just reset? No, it, it gets empty? reset the next time you go in. Oh, yeah, every cool. every time the, the uh, experience empties, it resets. Oh, wow. Oh, that's not good. No, I think it's good that way because that way you have more control over the initial environment that people see when well, they come in. Yeah, sure, but you imagine if you've used it as an operation center or as a classroom, you want to pin things to the wall and leave them there. It's well, something that, actually Ebe true. has talked about, uh, having persistence as an option. Yeah. yeah. But I think it would be more expensive on the hosting side. Yeah. I, I, I think all these things, like the instancing we were talking about earlier as well, these are different ways of using this kind of platform oh i wanted but to ask not, a question yeah. sorry sorry go ahead i don't mean to interrupt no it, no it's okay you go ahead i don't know if you guys have heard at all um the capabilities to use a space navigator 3d mouse in desktop mode in sense or is that in the works at all that might make camera camming smoothing smoother a little bit does it not just work? Strawberry? I tried it, but it wasn't working. Uh, I don't know if there's... Um, and I can't... There's no settings, you know? Uh, no, but um, the thing with the Space Navigator is it's better if you don't install the settings. I don't have them I, installed, yeah. Because then yeah, if you install it, it doesn't work on it, SL. It messes it. Yeah. I, I agree. So I've yeah. just plugged mine in. I'm just going to see if it works, yeah. Yeah, I couldn't... I don't have the I, dri drivers installed. I just plug it, plugged it in. But it that's what work. I do as well. Yeah. For Second Life, that works best. Exactly. And for OpenSim viewers. Um, I'll... Uh, 
Let me know right, if so you I'll, figure it out, because yeah, I will. I, I will. would love to try I, the I, mouse. I, yeah. I may have to re-log, you know, to have it have it recognize the device. No rush. You can tell me some other time. Just so yeah, at the, certainly at the moment it's not working. Just plugging it in, but that's yeah. because the, the the viewer's live. Yeah. I'll try later. Okay. I, I can't wait too. like they've talked about one of the things I find most exciting is they said by the end of the year, they're going to try to have a collaborative building. So you'll be able to put your space together with someone else's oh, cool. and build together in the same space. And I can see a lot of like the community aspect of Second Life taking advantage of that to build in a bigger space collaboratively to build more community oriented spaces yeah. rather than just individual experiences. I think that'll be really cool when we can finally get there. My, yeah. my biggest, my biggest hang up at the moment is the single object to upload. Um, a lot of my models are way bigger than single models and even trying to collapse them down to single models with UV textures has been very difficult. So f to give an example, uh, in high fidelity, I've been able to bring in absolutely massive bills, very, very straightforward and build an entire entire scene almost instantly with all the texturing intact but here even to build simple vehicles I'm having to break them up into parts and bring them in it's just too slow what did you but, what did uh, you use Eb for hosting Eb Eb in Eb says that's going going to be uh, coming soon oh well, that's good what, what did you use for hosting in high fidelity that was my hang up is I, yeah. I built some things in high fidelity but I had you had to host it yourself yeah sure. so if my no, computer I, I, was off my space was off and I kind of yeah. Didn't like that. Uh, I I run a web server, so I, I, it's easier for me. Okay. But you you know, there's lots of quite cheap hosting solutions. You know, you can for for a few dollars a month, you can you can host reasonable amounts of stuff. Wasn't there perm issues in high fidelity though, where if you upload yes, stuff, anybody are. could. So I heard about that. It wasn't really good for creators. No, it's true. Uh, I mean, a, a lot of the stuff I do is open source anyway, so it's not, it's not an issue for me. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, the FBX files can be downloaded trivially um, it, it, once you know the URL. That's kind of scary. So it's it's a different kind of audience, I guess. Yeah. When I interviewed he, he, Maxwell Graf, he said that was the main reason why he's not building in high fidelity, because he right. doesn't have any control over other people stealing his stuff. Right. The, the other platform I've been using a lot in the last year is uh, SignSpace, and uh, because the Unity 3D platform is the one that they used to build there, mm -hmm. and that, that, that's definitely not a problem then. You, whatever's in your, in your space can't be used by others unless you make it available on the store. Uh, but, but SignSpace is working really very well indeed with ma really quite big um, experiences. Yes, yeah, I understand are, they're well, actually four times bigger than they are here in Sansar, which is, just blows my mind. It's been going a little bit longer. Um, but some of the, I, I've got 50,000 objects in one experience, for instance, in, in, wow. in, in Science Space. Wow. I, I have a vehicle with a quarter of a million prims in it. The only problem with Unity, from what I understand, from what other people have told me, is that every time there's an update to Unity, something gets broken in Sign Space, and therefore Adam Frisbee tells the creators they have to hold off on updating Unity until he fixes the bugs. Uh, it's certainly true. As you go through Unity updates, there's always something that's deprecated. Yeah, that's why Sansar created their own engine instead of using an existing game engine like Unreal or Unity. That's what I understand. So where's Drax? Where did he go? Did he fall know. into a hole? <laughs> I don't know. He's chatting with Max, but i got to go in 15 minutes, so I'd love to see him in the other I, place. I, I, I'm going to say bye-bye to everybody now. I'm going to knock off here as well. So anyway, okay. it's been great hanging out with you guys. All it's the best nice to you. To, it's nice to meet you, I, Austin. Yep. All the best. Nice to meet bye -bye. you. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 I may not stick around either. I mean, the one I want to see is Colossus Rising. I want other people to see it, but I can simply write a blog post telling people to go there. Why don't we go there next week, then, maybe? That Sounds good. We can, we can Works put for that me. In, the, in the plan. We should actually, what we should do is decide. The th we should do three experiences each each episode, I think, because it takes a while to see each experience. So we don't want to go over go like two hours long. So we should yeah. do like three experiences, pick them ahead of time, and then maybe go from before. I don't know if that helps in loading. That way maybe Drax will <laughs> be a little bit faster coming into the experiences as well. Well, you can cache experiences. So the yeah. first time that you visit an experience, it might take a little while to load. Exactly. But the second time you visit, it's much faster. 
Right. So that so if we know ahead of time what experiences we're going to, then we can cash them, and then what, yes, during the episode it'll go a little bit faster. Yes, because we're waiting for like people five using minutes. slower computers. <laughs> five minutes for Drax to just lock, <laughs> for join yeah. us. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. So maybe we'll put like make a, a an agenda or plan or something for next week. What was the what was the one that you were saying? Colossal rising. Colossus. Colossus. Okay. Rising. Okay. I'll look that up. And it's one of the original Sansar Studio experiences. If you take a look in the atlas and scroll all the way down to the very bottom, mm -hmm. there's a whole bunch of Sansar Studio experiences that they've had up for about six months. Oh yeah, I've one explored, of them is Colossus yeah. Rising. I was. It's really well that. done. Yeah. It's sort of that. Uh, abandoned ancient civilization in the desert where you kind of wander around and look at the technology and they have these huge fossils and they've got gondolas that you can jump on and ride that take you from one spot in the scene to the other spot. It's really well done. I'm going to have to check. Sorry. It, I was going to say, it would be great if uh, Lyndon would, and I had mentioned this a long time ago in one of the meetings, like the primary thing you can do in Sansar right now is explore if they made that more immersive like that that you weren't you know having to go into the atlas or post the link to get around like if they made a way for you to feel like you were still in the universe going from space to space well this is one of the things that's come up for discussion in the Facebook group the, there is a Sansar Facebook group that you can join and among the discussions that have taken place is if you're moving from second life to Sansar, is there a loss of serendipity? And by serendipity, that's basically accidentally finding cool stuff by accident. Yes. Yes, I would uh, say there is. And I think there is a loss of serendipity. But somebody else made a very good point, and that was, you know what? A lot of people don't like to live on the mainland in Second Life for the very reason that they don't want to accidentally run into stuff that offends them or, <laughs> there's, you know. And, right. and so pe that's why the, the private estates are doing so well. So, you know, you could make an argument that some people just don't want serendipity. Hopefully we can get both someday. Yeah, get the best it, of both worlds. The, the most amazing, like, experience I've ever had in VR I was in high fidelity. Like I was just trying figuring out how to get it to work. And I, I clicked on a link to someone else's experience and there was a guy there and he was, uh, you know, he was adjusting something in the world because you're in world editing. And it was this like really cool apartment building I had never seen before. And I'm walking through this apartment with this art and stuff. And there's a guy like working on an, an easel in his office, you know, and oh, we wow. just, we just struck up a conversation and started talking about high fidelity and it was completely like running into someone in the world, real world. Yeah. It was like a really real experience. Exactly. And I wish we could I hear do that, that more. I know that's Maxwell. That sounds interesting. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. I, I think that goes back to like some people in SL have become specialists. Drax, we're running out of time. Can we leave yeah. Colossus rising for the next week? No, you're fired, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> you're not paying me, so you can't fire me. <laughs> and I am a card-carrying gay man. I can out-bitch out -bit you at 30 paces, guaranteed. Damn. Drax, we should probably keep it till th to three experiences with per episode. Yeah. <laughs> should, should we? Okay. Then, yeah. um, so I think we're good, our... and we'll leave that one till next week. And we should actually, I was telling Ryan this, we should make a plan of which experiences we're going to be visiting, and then yeah. Maybe pre-visit them so they're cached and we get there sooner when during the live stream. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. I like a little bit spontaneity when people come in and. Uh, but yeah, that's not. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not opposed. Well, that way true. people can preload the experiences so it doesn't take so long to get into them. Yeah. You can have two planned and one surprise. That's yeah, a good idea. Yeah. I think on the loading stream, you know, when, when the loading uh, screen is happening and you can read the YouTube chat for the folks in, in VR and then I uh, respond to that. Um, what are the – are people still watching? I don't know. Are people still watching this? This They're has been on absolutely – <laughs> I don't know oh, about oh, yours. I need to get your guys' heart when we get off mic too because uh, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm wanting to uh, – Record. I'm wanting to capture doing some stuff in Sansar. I've yeah. had a number of people ask me in Second Life to do like a a short class or tutorial or something, and I want to record yeah. that. And I think 
just for the basic stuff of like how to that import and how to use the text string and that kind of thing. I know some people are working on some of the kind of stuff for the for the website, but I'm just thinking an unofficial thing more aimed at people wanting to come here from SL that already are kind of into building and want to see how to do some stuff. Here. That would be great. I think that that is awesome. Yeah, you should but, totally do that. Right, okay, I then definitely let... need your help setting up some screen capture stuff because I don't know the video okay. aspect of it. Max, let's go to the basement real quick, uh, and I'll explain to you real quick some basic stuff. You can then you can hit the ground running with that if you like. Um, Onto, it's great to see you. Onto, any last words because you were. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to label you as a Sansa cri critic because you made good critical points, and it's it's not. Uh, you know, being a critic is great and it's a very important role being a rumor monger or who you are not is is a bad thing what what do you think is sansa growing on you now or what will be your number one thing that you would that you would change right now let's see if Anto's mic is working ah Anto's mic is not working all right, then I'm going to teleport back home to the basement. David, thank you for making this. Lenny is still Lenny is not with us anymore. We got free we. Thanks everybody for watching. Everybody's and a Bremlin. <laughs> Strawberry, this is not. It's not Hi, Josh. Anymore. Thank you very You're much hurting for my feelings. <laughs> thank you very much to both Josh and to Strawberry for for being our hosts today. This has been this most enjoyable. <laughs> I had and fun. it's amazing. This is so awesome that we bump into this weird dude with a freaking banana. And, <laughs> and this... <laughs> He's gonna poke oh, your eye out with a... that banana. <laughs> That's like a Monty Please Python take, sketch, isn't it? Take the banana. <laughs> take I, know, I love how he's like offering it to everybody as he goes along. It's not even just holding a banana. It's here. Uh, I'll, some I'll of my bananas. Banana. <laughs> you should camp out. Out. I need another banana. You should camp out on, on harvest and always when somebody comes in, you come out of the house and go like, here you go, banana. It's a banana. It's good for you. Now, how many of us actually click the banana wanting to get a copy of it that we could wear and give out to people? It's going to come soon. Yeah, that that'll stuff, come. That'll yeah. come. You know, and, and let me just say in closing here, then I'm going to go back, uh, that Bjorn from Linden Lab said that the VR part and working with the input devices is really, really challenging. And from their priority setting, they're working on that first. And then they're adding that functionality to the desktop mode. So the desktop mode is lagging behind in terms of functionality naturally because they decided to go with this really big challenge to get these input devices that are constantly evolving and changing to get those right and working with Zansar and then adding the desktop functionality. Okay, I'm going to teleport home, folks. Okay, okay, I got a log to thank you guys. Bye, Strawberry. Good. I had a lot Bye, of fun. Bye, guys. I'll see you next week. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Bye. Okay, is Strawberry okay. gone? Then uh, after party in the basement, don't tell her. Bye. I heard that. <laughs> oh, she. Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> Why is she everywhere? It's my middle school nightmare that I'm reliving. All right, guys, I'm going to head to town. See you later. See you. Hey, Drax, can you uh, post your city URL? Okay, everybody, in the live stream, I am going to log out of Sansar right now. That was the second episode of Atlas Hopping in Linden Lab Sansar with Barry and Drax. I hope you guys enjoy watching, uh, hopefully learning a little bit about Sansar. We're going to try and do this every Saturday at 9 a.m. PST. And, um, you know, I'm still, I'm not, I'm not, I haven't left Second Life. I'm still in Second Life. I'm enjoying Sansar. I'm not, I'm not a builder. I'm not a creator. I'm just exploring 
and getting to know, um, uh, you know, the 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 world and the people in there, and and just checking it out. So I will tell you guys about updates every week to Sansar and explore some places with you. And I hope you guys join us. And don't worry, Second Life is not going anywhere. It's still there, and I'm in there as well. And I should have another blog post out either tomorrow or Saturday about Second Life. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Have a great day.